Hello there, my name's Fernando, and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And today, I'm going to go over one of the newly released security features of GitLab 17.3. We've recently introduced a way for you to add multiple compliance frameworks to a single project. That way, you can assure compliance by running custom pipelines for multiple compliance frameworks. Now let's get started and look into this feature and stay tuned for the demo of how it works. You can now add multiple compliance frameworks to a single project. A compliance framework is a label that identifies that your project has certain compliance requirements or needs additional oversight. These frameworks can be used with pipeline execution policies to either overwrite or inject custom jobs into your projects where a compliance framework is applied. These features allow you to assure compliance by separating the duties between developers and compliance officers. In order to create a compliance framework, from our top level group, we select the Compliance Center. Then from here, we click on the Framework tab where we can see all the compliance frameworks which have been created. We can also add a new framework by clicking on the new framework button, or we can choose to edit an existing compliance framework. Here you can add a name, description, color, and more. Now I'll go ahead and review the pipeline execution policies I've created within my subgroup, meaning that they can be applied to all the projects within that group. Here I have the pipeline execution policies to assure SOC 2 compliance as well as assure ISO 2700 compliance. These policies inject jobs from separate GitLab CI YAMLs for adhering to compliance. These jobs are only injected if the project contains the appropriate compliance framework label. These compliance configuration YAMLs are stored within a separate project containing separate permissions from the projects which developers are working on. We can see the ISO 2700 compliance configuration includes SAS as well as a compliance verification job. The SOC 2 compliance configuration includes secret detection and another compliance check. Now I'll go to the Compliance Center within my subgroup, click on the Projects tab, and then apply the SOC 2 and ISO 2700 compliance frameworks linked to my pipeline execution policies. Upon examining the .GitLab CI YAML of the project we've just applied these frameworks to, we can see that only jobs relevant to application development are present. Now let's go ahead and run a new pipeline. Here we can see that the regular development jobs are run along with the newly added compliance checks and security scanners, which have been added by the pipeline execution policies. To learn more about compliance frameworks, compliance pipelines, and the newly released features in GitLab 17.3, see the links in the description. And make sure to click on that subscribe button 